How's it going, everyone? My name is Do Girl, and welcome back to Nier Automata. Last time we left off, we had just destroyed the strangely vanity-seeking entity of machine within the amusement park. Now, after a little catch-up, we will be uh, be headed back to the village again to deliver something to Pascal. So let's do it to it. Uh, do a quick test for Pascal and we'll get back to the village or back to our uh, resistance uh, 9S! Yes, it is me. Many apologies for the sudden transmission. I heard that you were searching for the missing child, yes? Is that? Right. Let's get her back to Pascal's village. How'd you get lost out here anyway? I was looking for my sister's part. But then I got scared. But I couldn't move. Oh, come on now. Don't cry. Did you at least find what you needed? Yeah. She'll be happy, right? I'm sure she will. But I bet she'll be even happier to see you back home safe and sound. Okay. Hey, mister. Why did they make the desert? No one made the desert. It's just an area that lost all its vegetation due to a lack of precipitation. This caused lasting changes in the soil, which means plants aren't able to... What soil? Soil? Uh, it's dirt. Ground. The stuff we're walking on? Wind is just a force caused by changes in temperature and atmospheric pressure and... Huh. That's actually a hard question now that I think about it. Kinda deep, really. I mean, where does the wind blow from? What do you think, 2B? Don't know, don't care. Hey, mister, how do you make children? Oh, boy. Um... Well, machines can't really make children. Neither can androids, now that I think about it. Yeah, but how do you make them? Uh, to be? Little help here? Huh? You're the chatty one. Work it out. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Wade, you gotta tell me how you make you. Wow, it's getting late. Let's get you home already. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I knew that question was coming. They make children. Uh... <laughs> hey, I know this place. I'm gonna be home by myself now. Thanks, mister. Thanks, Grumpy Lady. Oh, and here, you can have this. <laughs> Grumpy Lady. Are you sure? Was exhausting. Yep. Okay, that was. Well, let's just say it was deheartening. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue with uh, the, the main quest now. Uh oh. And uh, deal with these two.
What's that? that noise? Tubi, this is an emergency transmission from the bunker. We're reading a Goliath-class enemy inside the city ruins. And it looks like there are a ton of other machines there with it. All your high units should proceed and engage immediately. A Goliath? This was a trap. I knew it! I promise you, we were not aware of this information. I realize the odds of you believing me are strikingly low. But I hope you will, nonetheless. We'll sort it out later. Let's go. And I know I've said this before, but this reminds me of the block puzzles of uh, Sonic. I think it was Sonic 2. To be, command is deploying new flight units for us. They just set the coordinates, so let's get going. Okay. The flight units should be on the roof of that building up ahead. It'll be dangerous, but we're not going anywhere unless we pass through that Goliath's legs. We should be careful. The big boy. Okay. Central wiring hub. Get to those flight units while we can. Good idea. Careful. Uh, kind of busy here, the boss. They're packed with anti-air weapons. Make sure to approach at low altitude. Copy that. Here we go.
Target enemies offline. That should do it for the Goliaths. Look out! It's recharging! Oh boy. Enemy vibrations are growing in intensity. It's resonating in tandem with the area beneath the combat zone. <laughs> What the? What? Unbelievable. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years were hiding underground? belonging to the aliens. These are the creatures that are in direct command of the machine life forms on this planet. If we can destroy them, we can end this long and arduous war once and for all. Our intel team is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not there yet. We need more data. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. Glory to mankind. I use command's data to determine the signal source and marked it on the map. But it seems to be underground. Like, way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. Okay. If we're lucky. You're not much for plans, are you, 2B? Okay, let's head over there. Well, that was a way to kick off the episode. Wow. Okay. Wait a minute. That one's new. He. He's not friendly. 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 Received from access point. Wow. 
What is this? Analysis. It is a cave-in caused by the collapse of an open space underground. Why is there such a huge cavern beneath the city? Okay. I've seen where we can get up on the other side, but... If I remember from my previous playthroughs, we're gonna have a problem. That's a weird-looking enemy. That's... oh shoot. There's three this time? There was only two last time. I don't know. Two, three, six. Try to curl around you. The ground is caved in. There must have been a hollow down there this whole time. This hallway looks pretty old. Machines. Seems like they've been here for a long time. What is this place? I don't know. There's nothing like it in the database. Is this the aliens? To be. Look. Destroyed alien motherships. Welcome <laughs> to the graveyard of our creators. Kill him yet? Relax, Eve. We're still negotiating here. <laughs> Fine. My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago. By us, the machines. Wiped out? And who knows? Perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow. We can become aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us. But the humans on the moon? Now they are interesting. 
Why them? Because they are an enigma. They killed uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity. And now we will allow you to assist us. You were made in their image, after all. Assist you with what? It's simple. We need you to locate the humans on the moon and bring them to us. We will then dissect and analyze them in order to drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers. Well, I suppose this concludes negotiations. The only remaining option is to destroy you. The same way we destroyed these pathetic little aliens. Time grows short. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> They're gone. The aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. 2B, this is Operator 60. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they'd finally got it working. Anyway, I'll mark the positional data on the map. Jackass? Hey, how's it hanging? You again. Your commander told me to build a new access point, so here you go. Oh, and I got the stupid transporter up and running, too. Um, thank you? I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will ya? So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. Cool. Finally, we don't have to run any everywhere. That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course. Your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. Man, the commander sure is a slave driver, huh? And now we have to go back to the city ruins. Why don't we rest a little bit, 2B? It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. Okay, so we, uh, 
got the viscous oil back to Pascal. We encountered we encountered a another Goliath. The entire landscape changed. And now we've encountered the twins again, Adam and Eve. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and comment down below. I really do appreciate it. Take care of each other. God bless you all. And I'll see y'all later. Whew. That was a lot.